Right, so what we've actually got here now is all the under parts of the body. All that's left to actually do now with the under fabric are the side panels. The reason that we've done the under panels like this is so that we can just, with the side panels, fold it across the actual existing, the existing fabric. So we're fast forwarding now to the almost complete uh, under fabric for the, for the fish. We've got one more panel to put on and I've specifically left this panel so I can demonstrate what we actually do just to make sure that everybody's clear on what's actually required. So this is the actual um, panel that we're going to install there. You always cut the panel oversize, stick it on and then trim around the, around the edges later. So we've got our, our, our glue in our, our brush and we just go around the edge like that. Given that this is the last panel, we're not really going to have the opportunity to pinch the fabric onto, uh, onto the actual body of the fish. So this is more a, a pressing sort of uh, adhesion process that we're going through. So we go around the, around the edge and we're actually being pretty liberal with the glue. Now we've got the actual hole coated we're just going to grab our fabric and we're going to lay it over the hole so that uh, all of the, the fabric is in contact with the, actual, with the actual hole that we're attempting to fill. So that's the actual process that we go through. We stretch it around like, like that We'll get the edges perfectly right. Now, as that's holding there, I can take the scissors and trim in to where I'm going to be doing any folds. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that I'm actually taking the weight off the actual glue. So. Here you can see we don't need all this, this fold up here. So I'm just going to carefully trim around the edges, but pretty roughly in the initial stages because I can always come back and neaten it up later, but I've taken that extra weight off the actual panel as I work down through there. So that's the first few edges. Making sure that we keep the, the, the fabric fairly taut as we, uh, as we make our way around. Down here where the fin actually attaches, we need to make a, an incision so that we can actually fold the fabric back in underneath the actual body of the fish. And that allows us to get a good stretch all the way across the actual body of the actual animal. We've also taken the opportunity to install the eyes of the fish. In this particular case, we've just used McDonald-type covers to their sundaes. Now, we've trimmed the edges so that we've got a nice flat surface to actually stick the, stick the glue to the, the fabric and we've cut out the actual hole in the fish so that when the actual illumination takes place inside the fish the light will, will exit. We're going to, a bit of an experiment, we're going to see how that works at the end and uh, okay so we've worked, uh, worked through the morning and this is what we've achieved so far in terms of our coloured cloth. As I demonstrated uh, yesterday uh, we've got the, the backing cloth done. We're using uh, uh, for this particular project we're using red uh, sequined cloth and what we're doing is cutting it out in, in patches and we're sticking it uh, across piece by piece. So this is one piece here, this is another piece here, another piece here, etc. And basically what we're doing is that we are cutting the, the shape that we want to an approximate size, then we're placing glue. We're using a um, we're using a, a craft glue, a, uh, a fabric on fabric glue. I'm not sure if you can see that there, but it's basically a, 
a fabric glue and uh, it's a very similar process to what we did yesterday, still using a, uh, a paintbrush. We paint along the edge where we want it to actually uh, be, we stick the fabric down. After the fabric's in place, that's when we actually trim it. What we've also done to make things a bit easier is we've actually, for the time being, put a, a light inside, which we'll just turn on now. The reason we're putting the light in now is that it makes the, the cutting of the fabric much easier to see for us to actually be able to judge precisely where we want the fabric to, to cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do uh, this, uh, this little fin down here. We're going to reposition the camera in just a second. But um, as, uh, as we prophesied yesterday with the, with the eye, with the, with the light, this has actually worked quite well, much better than I actually expected it to be, uh, personally, but it is actually illuminating quite, quite brightly, and you can see that the thing actually does look like a, a, a fish. We've still got our white sequined material, which is a very similar material to this, except white, and we'll use that to patch over the top of this base fabric, which you can see here. Not being as liberal as we were yesterday with the glue, because this is a bit more difficult glue to use, actually. It's got a five minute drying time, which does cause a, a little bit of hassle in that it, it, uh, it generates clumps, which is a slight pain in the ass, just quietly, but anyway, that's fine. So we just go around the peripherals of the actual fin to, uh, to make sure that we've got it secure. So with our fabric, all we're doing is laying it across the top there and pressing in a similar vein to what we did yesterday as far as, as making the uh, making here. It. And we trim the edge. The, the fins and, uh, and the peripherals are quite easy to do because they're actually separate standalone components of the actual project. So cutting around them is quite easy. So as you can see there, it's relatively simple. In five minutes, that'll be touch dry. Tomorrow, that won't move at all. Okay, so we've just essentially finished the, finished the fish to the degree that uh, we're going to. So what we've done, we've got all the red panels on, We've inserted all the, all the white material and we have outlined the edging in, in gold. We were going to do gold everywhere, but as it turns out, due to a uh, measurement error with our supplier, we don't have enough gold. So we've decided that this is actually going to, to do. Uh, what we've also uh, elected to do is install um, eyes into the, into the fish. We weren't sure as to whether or not they made them look too cartoony or not, but we've decided we've installed the eyes and we're actually quite, quite happy with the way it looks. And if you look here, the fish actually looks like it's actually looking forward. Not that you'll see the fish from the front once it's displayed in the front of the house, but it's essentially, that's our, that's our, our fish, it's complete. I'm just gonna uh, get the lights turned off and I'll just show you what it looks like at night and I'll just stand out of the way. So you see how that, that'll actually be how it's illuminated uh, at night. So that's our, that's our, our light, uh, or our Chinese lantern, uh, almost complete. The final clip, which I'll, I'll show you guys, will actually be of it up in front of the house, but the making thereof is actually, is actually complete. And um, it's probably taken around about 16 hours work to get this far, but this is a relatively large project and uh, certainly if yours is smaller, then uh, you're not gonna have that much time commitment. So okay. what you can see here is we've actually got the fish finally finished and finally up in front of the house. So I'll just move out of the way and you can have a look. So that's what it, it looks like when it's fully illuminated. We'll leave it up for the next couple of months to celebrate uh, Chinese Lantern Festival. And that's about it. So hope you enjoy. See ya.